Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Expedius, Fadrant Saga, I think this is, and this is on the PC Engine, and this is a game request by Jack Hacken, right, now I did review this on the MSX2, now this is a Japanese game only, so I'm not going to do it on Fadrant, because it's like a story mode and it's all in Japanese. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go to the classic arcade mode. If I can, here we go. So let's just see how it plays. So this will play like the 1982 arcade game. I mean, so far, so... Good. I mean, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's, it was a excellent game. It was a playable game. It wasn't like it was an 82 game, so it was an early game. But this is what it's based on the 82 game, so you're not going to expect like very superior graphics because it's basically just um, converted from the 82 game. I mean, it plays fine. Oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck. So, button A is for um, bombs. Button B is for firing. Or is it the other way round? It is emulated. But in this occasion, it's button B, or button 2, for firing. And button 1, for bombs. Oh, for fuck's sake. So I think you get four lives in this game, this version. Not like the standard three lives. Oh, wow, for fuck's sake. And I think it is starting you from the beginning again. You can hold down your fire button, but it ain't as rapid. Fire. Whoa. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Ooh. Now I have reviewed Expedius on a few different home systems. I think it's the first time I'm actually reviewing it on a 16-bit system. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now I don't know nothing at all about the PC Engine. Never even seen one back in the day, let alone played on one. I don't think that was that common here in the UK. Just like the NES, the MSX wasn't that common. A lot of the Japanese systems, well, I'll say that. Not until the Super Nintendo come out, then it did get really popular. Um, so game over, so you get four lives, so let's have another go. Yeah, I'm just going to stick it on ours. I think it's sort of the same sort of thing on Hydrant mode, but you get a story. But it's all in Japanese, so what's the point? can't understand Japanese, so just play the arcade version, that's, that's the one I'm really interested in. Otherwise you're going to just sit through a bunch of cutscenes. Oh, fuck it. Oh, for fuck's sake.
So you've got that crosshair in front of you. That's more for bombing. That's it. Look at that. Done it. Oh! Now, I don't like the fact that it always sends you back to the beginning. I think it's checkpoint based. But I really don't like it when they send you all the way back. But then again, that's based on the arcade game. Oh! Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Oh, that was close. I mean, graphically, as I said, it's based on the arcade from a 1982 game. So they're not cutting edge. But it ain't supposed to be. It's 72 graphics. 82 gameplay. I mean, it does it. It does it well. Oh, God, fucking hell. Look at it. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. I hope that ain't going to send me... Oh, fuck off. That's... No, it hasn't. I hate games when they send you all the way back to the beginning. I just. I know it was early days, but. Why can't they just let you continue? Oh, God, that was close. Look at the s speed of those fuckers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, for fuck's sake! Ah, oh, fuck it. Game over. I think we'll leave it there. Um, it's an okay conversion. Come out in 1990, so the arcade game would have been eight years old at that point. So it's basically converted to look like an 82 game. That's all. But you've got that fondant mode. I think it's more of a story mode. Um, so you get cutscenes and all that, but as I said, it's pointless me playing it because it's all in Japanese. For an arcade game, it's a decent enough conversion of an 82 game. That's all I can really say, really. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.